In 2016, we developed the flanged IOL fixation technique as a method of IOL fixation in aphakic eyes. This surgery enables minimally invasive and solid IOL fixation. Compared to capsular fixation, however, it is difficult to stabilize the IOL position and is liable to cause refractive errors. Is there any way to adjust the position of the IOL and fix it at target refractive values with absolute accuracy? With a flanged IOL fixation, if you pull to outside the eyes, the IOL haptics that had been inserted into the scleral tunnel, the optic shifts upwards. We input the IOL's material data into a simulator and performed a simulation in which the haptics was inserted into a groove, 20 degrees outwardly and 5 degrees upwardly, and then was pulled out. On the simulation, the size of the IOL's optic part shifted 0.4 millimeters upwards. This means that if a 20 diopter IOL was used, it would change by approximately 0.4 diopters. We developed a surgical method of adjusting the refraction during surgery. We use an intraoperative wavefront aberrometry to measure the refraction while changing the length of the IOL haptics. We cut off the haptics at a position where the target refraction figure is obtained and fix the IOL. To change the IOL position like on the simulation, the angle of the scleral tunnels through which the IOL haptics are inserted must be made constant. However, it is difficult to pierce a needle at an angle set by human hands. Therefore, to make the angle of the scleral tunnels constant, we created a needle stabilizer. The device comes with two wings having a groove for passing a needle through the ring-shaped body. By piercing the needle along the groove, it became possible to insert the needle at a set angle. We will show you two case examples. Patient 1 was a female, aged 65, with IOL dislocation. After performing vitrectomy, we cut the dislocated IOL and extracted it. Using a needle stabilizer, we pierced two thin 30-gauge needles and inserted the IOL haptics into them. We then pulled out the haptics along with the needles. With the haptics being pulled out at the maximum, we measured the refraction using an intraoperative wavefront aberrometry. The spherical equivalent was minus 0.97 diopters. We then pressed back the haptics to inside the eyes and measured the refraction. The spherical equivalent changed to minus 0.60 diopters. When the haptics were pulled out once again, the eyes became myopic. With a spherical equivalent of minus 1.07 diopters. Since the target refraction was zero diopter, to make sure that the IOL's optic was fixed at the posterior, we created a flange without cutting the IOL haptics and anchored it. The spherical equivalent ultimately came to be minus 0.26 diopters. These show the findings one month after surgery. IOLs are fixed in the center and show no inclination. The patient's uncorrected visual acuity was 1.2 and the spherical equivalent was minus 0.38 diopters. Patient 2 was a male, aged 83, with IOL dislocation. After removing the IOL, artificial iris, and CTR, we performed flanged IOL fixation.
With this patient, when the haptics were pulled out at the maximum, the spherical equivalent was minus 0.55 diopters. And when it was pressed inward at the maximum, it was minus 0.12 diopters. Since the target refraction was minus 0.5 diopters, to make sure that the IOL's optical part should be shifted to the front and the eye should become myopic, we cut the tip of a haptics by 1.5 millimeters, then created a flange and anchored it. The spherical equivalent after fixation came to be minus 0.25 diopters. These show the findings one month after surgery. Status of IOL fixation was favorable. Uncorrected visual acuity was 0.8 and the spherical equivalent was minus 0.25 diopters. We performed this surgery on 13 eyes and were able to confirm during the surgery an average refractive change of 0.42 diopters in terms of the length of the haptics that is pulled out into the eye. The average difference from target refraction one month after surgery showed a favorable result of 0.06. With the adjustable flange technique, the IOL haptics move inside the scleral tunnel, which was accurately created with a needle stabilizer, and thereby the optic shifts back and forth to cause refractive changes. By fixing the IOL haptics at the target refraction, it became possible to adjust refraction during surgery. The refraction precision of IOL scleral fixation may exceed that of capsular fixation in the near future.